What's up, amigos? This is the aerodynamics of a piece of cheese, cheese, a Swiss cheese. This is a wedge, and we have a uh, X plane, uh, sorry, a Z plane, going from the bottom of the cheese upwards, and we have the flow going from left to right from zero to 30 meters per second, coloring from blue to red. We have the cheese also in its pressure plot. And as we go through, the Z plane raises, and you can see there's quite a big wake. And the holes, they do make a bit of a difference. So you can see in the holes here, there's some recirculation, there's a slow flow, and some flow leaking out a little bit. But interestingly, as you go up, so now we're not, there's right here, we have all this flow above the actual wedge of cheese. It's not behind the cheese, it's not being, um, it is affected by the cheese, but it's not behind, and yet it's still so slow. So that's interesting, you're behind the wedge of cheese. You're not behind the wedge of cheese, yet you still have a low flow. And that happens from time to time. It's just cool when it does, it's not that, that common. In this view, we have the streamlines. So we've plotted them from upstream and as you hit and then they go around. And this gives some indication as to what's actually going on. You know how we had that wake above the actual cheese? That's because of this hole here. So the flow hits that hole and it goes up. Let's rewind a little bit. There we go. It goes up and now you get this real cool pattern. It happens here as well a little bit, but this hole is really doing a lot. They, those streamlines are finding the hole, and these ones are too. They're getting stuck in it. As we go around, you can see that that created all that wake. The rest of the flow is not too bad. So make sure to like, subscribers, check out everything here for Eric's, check out the instrumentation we do, check out the courses we put on, and check out the conference we put on every year. Links in the description. Peace out.